Traditionally, aerobic exercises like walking, cycling, running are what's recommended for managing high blood pressure. However, there are also other exercise categories like resistance training, high intensity interval training, isometric exercise training, and combined training. Is there one exercise category or a specific exercise that is more effective in lowering blood pressure compared to others? Let's find out. I'm Jeffrey, physical therapist, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will review this new literature published in 2023 on the effect of different exercise training modes on resting blood pressure. First, let's define high blood pressure or hypertension. American Heart Association defines it as systolic blood pressure above 130 millimeters of mercury and diastolic blood pressure above 80 millimeters of mercury, which are pretty strict guidelines. This article is a systematic review and network meta-analysis including 270 randomized control trials and totaling a sample size of 15,827 participants. The primary exercise categories reviewed were aerobic exercise training, dynamic resistance training, combined training, high intensity interval training, and isometric exercise training. There were also subgroups for each category, walking, running, cycling for aerobic exercise training, sprint interval training, and aerobic interval training for the HIT isometric hand grip, isometric leg extension, and isometric wall squat as the isometric exercise training. The isometric exercise training protocols were mostly four sets of two minute contractions separated by one to four minute rest intervals and performed three times per week. Here are the results. Let's look at the two forest plots depicting the effects of different exercises on systolic and diastolic blood pressure. I know most of us haven't heard forest plot since statistics back in high school, but I'll try to keep it simple. First, look at the exercise mode column and see the different primary exercise mode and its subgroups. Next, look at the net reduction in systolic blood pressure. The red diamond is the average results of the primary exercise mode, and the black circles are the results of the subgroups. The isometric exercise training group on average had a little over 8 millimeters of mercury reduction to systolic blood pressure, which was the highest out of all the other primary modes. Considering subgroups as well, the isometric wall squat had the highest reduction in systolic blood pressure. You can pause to read all the results. For the diastolic graph, the isometric exercise training group still had the highest reduction to diastolic blood pressure of 4 millimeters of mercury. In this graph, running had the highest net reduction in diastolic blood pressure of 5.67 millimeters of mercury, which had the slight edge over isometric wall squats of 5.33. From the graph, we can also see that aerobic exercise training and resistance training are still more established exercise modes in research with more randomized control trials used for analysis compared to the HIT and isometric exercise training. This can be a limitation to the study. Now, the takeaway from this is not to stop walking and just do isometric wall sits and run because walking doesn't lower blood pressure as much as the other exercises. And the following statement is taken from another article on the benefits of isometric exercise training on blood pressure. It's still not used often for antihypertensive therapy, possibly because health benefits like blood glucose and cholesterol control are not seen as likely in the isometric resistance training. My recommendation is to add in some isometrics into your current routine. And if you are limited on time or equipment, then doing wall sits or wall squats at home, definitely not a bad idea. And it's better than doing nothing. Hope you guys found the information helpful and learned something new. Thumbs up and share it with someone who has high blood pressure. And unfortunately, that's not hard to find. And click here to see what mobility exercises I do on the daily.